plaintiff R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company filed an action in this court alleging a violation of Section 43A of the Lanham Act, 15 United States Code, Section 1125A, as well as a state law tort committed by defendant Lowe's Theaters, Inc., doing business as Lorillard. Reynolds' complaint charges that Lorillard has caused to be published in various print media comparative advertising for its Triumph brand that is false and deceptive with respect to four Reynolds brands. Testimony was taken and other evidence submitted in August at a hearing in plaintiff's motion for a preliminary injunction. The motion projects the court into the midst of hotly contested comparative advertising and the methodology of public opinion studies upon which it is based. For the reasons set forth, Reynolds' motion will be granted in part and denied in part. The opinion constitutes the court's findings of fact and conclusions of law. Plaintiff initially sought leave to participate in the preliminary injunction hearing in a previously filed related action. Philip Morris Incorporated versus Lowe's Theaters Incorporated, DC, 511 F Supplement 855, number 80, hyphen 4082, but elected not to participate in the limited fashion then prescribed by the court. Plaintiff thereafter removed or moved to consolidate the two actions, but later voluntarily withdrew the motion without prejudice. This court's preliminary injunction decision in Philip Morris, Inc. versus Lowe's Theaters, Inc., Supra, filed July 26, 1980, outlines the recent history of competition among manufacturers in the low-tar cigarette market and of Lorillard's introduction of the Triumph brand. Reynolds, for its part, manufactures the following brands relevant to the litigation. Salem, currently holding 3.1% uh, of the total cigarette market with 16 milligrams of tar. Salem Lights, 2.2% market share, 11 milligrams of tar. Winston Lights, 2.2% mark share. 14 milligrams of tar, and Vantage, 2% market share, 9 milligrams of tar. Lorillard's Triumph currently has a 0.4 to 0.5% share of the market and contains 3 milligrams of tar. The expenditure of energy and resources in litigating the issues here and in the Philip Morris case is made understandable in the context of the many millions of dollars regularly spent by the leading tobacco companies on the development, preparation, and testing of new brands and on advertising those brands. Advertising is viewed as critical generally in the tobacco industry and especially so in the fierce competition to gain acceptance for new brands. For the market consisting of low tar smokers, the surveys discussed below and the testimony established two primary expenditures or considerations which outweigh the, of all others, tar content and taste. The stakes are high. Millions of dollars are involved. This motion concerns the current series of print advertisements favorably comparing Triumph to various competing brands based on the survey commissioned by Lorillard and conducted by S.E. Surveys, Inc., the Smoker Study, which was considered in the Philip Morris litigation. With those survey results in hand, Lorillard embarked on a campaign advertising Triumph as a national taste test winner, stating in the ads that Triumph beats the other brands tested and that specific percentages of smokers questioned picked Triumph over the competition in overall preference and in taste. Laura Lloyd suggests that the court should focus rather on the new Triumph ad, which is based on the same survey, but headlined National Smoker Study Winner. The new ads, which have run already with respect to several brands, including Winston Lights and Salem Lights, indeed contain no explicit taste superiority claim, but still feature the phrase Triumph 
beats Winston Lights and then Triumph at less than one-fourth the tar preferred over Winston Lights. I'd like to see more of that. One-fourth. Do what? How do you write one-fourth? All right. W-U-N and then F-O-U-R-T. Fourth is F-O-U-R-T. For some reason, for me, it came out 14. I wrote the same. I came out 14. That's just a stupid software. Well, that's the... Uh, it's the... Uh, is it somebody else's software that you have? It's my own. It's your own, so it's a mistake in your dictionary. Better correct that in the dictionary. You've got fourth from uh, standing for fourth.